Yo, what's up? It's Julian Michaels. Some of you know me as Jules the Wolf. I'm the musical director and guitar player for Party Next Door. I've been over here for about three years now. Um, started playing guitar when I was like 15, 16 years old. Um, I've worked with some pretty cool artists. I've worked with uh, Music Soul Child, Justin Bieber, Ty Dolla Sign, Steve Lacey. Um, list goes on. Um, I've just been really enjoying it over here. It's been cool. Being a musical director is, is fun. It's got a lot of uh, responsibilities, you imagine, a lot of personalities. Um, but it's really cool to be over here. Uh, and Party happens to be one of my favorite artists and an influence on me as an artist as well. Um, so it's really cool. One of the biggest shifts I've had to make is really just, it's more of a mindset shift than anything. Again, you're taking on so much more responsibility um, and you're just managing a lot of other people. Um, I think it takes a lot more emotional intelligence. I think it takes a lot more patience. Um, I think the things about being a music director kind of come down to more character, more so than like knowledge or skill, which you have to have knowledge and skill, but um, I think it's more like character-based things in my experience of being a music director. Um, and just being cool, you know, being being patient, you know, treating your guys, you know, with respect and they treat you with respect. Um, like I ride for all my guys, you know what I mean? Like from, from the band to the audio team, everybody. You know? So just making sure I know, you know, that they got my back and making sure they know I got their back, you know, is a big thing. Um, it definitely takes like, you know, some leadership qualities for sure. Um, I think you got to know when to push against people and when to, you know, let things flow. Um, again, you're just managing a bunch of different personalities. Um, sometimes you, you know, you, you might get into it with other heads of other departments and stuff like that. And it just takes time and, and patience to really be able to kind of flow through this thing. Um, stress management for sure. Um, it's, it's definitely put a whole another, you know, level of, um, of ability in me to just handle, you know, pressure for real, for real. Um, And other than that, man, I think it's about also knowing when to delegate, um, delegate certain responsibilities, right? I think it's really important to be able to, you can carry the whole thing on your back, but when you got really capable guys around you, you know, from the band or the audio team, it's a lot, um, it's a lot easier to just delegate certain responsibilities, right? So whether we're coming up with lines or coming up with like band stuff, like I look to these guys and I'll be like, hey, what do y'all think about this? What do y'all think about doing this? You know what I mean? Um, and it's just making sure everybody feels included. Everybody feels safe, you know? Um, a lot of times you be a therapist, <laughs> you know what I mean? Unpaid, of course, but I should start charging these <laughs> But you know, <laughs> It's, it's cool, man, it's, um, it's really a blessing, you know, it's a, it's a heavy responsibility, but um, at the end of the day, man, I, I, I love doing it, and you know, everything I do, man, I, I dedicate to God, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, it's, it's definitely not a position that you can be self-serving in, you know what I mean, it's, it's really about how can I serve everyone else the best, so that we can all work towards this common goal of making sure that this show is flawless or as flawless as possible right. so that's it <laughs> my first century <intro. laughs> it wasn't drunk well i, I every everybody every <laughs> every <laughs> spiritually <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah spiritually all black people <laughs> are drummers first right but like no nah, like <laughs> Just always, yeah, right yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, spiritually everybody's a drummer, right? But no, actually, uh, yeah, I would say drums first, and then actually like brass instruments was my like first instrument. So I played trumpet, trombone, tuba, baritone, any brass instrument uh, is where I started. Like I started in band when I was in like the fifth grade stuff like that and I was um, actually like an all-state like tuba player so yeah um, I got a music scholarship to college for playing tuba and um, 
yeah that's how that worked out so that's actually my first instrument i didn't pick up guitar until i was like 15 16 years old yeah and uh, i just needed something to kind of keep me in the house a little bit my mom got me a, a my mom got me a guitar from a yard sale and she was just like here you need to do this and you need to stay inside <laughs> and um uh, it just started coming to me naturally like it was just it was uncanny like how naturally it started to come to me um i think i've always had a little bit of an ear um since i was in the womb like my pops would always take like headphones and put some earth wind and fire on my mama's stomach and stuff like that so i came out like listening to music you know my ear i think has always been good but i never really dove into like playing instruments for real for until i was like 12 13 14 15 years old um, but yeah it just came to me naturally um, and I, I i never thought until i was about 22 or 23 years old to do it professionally right it was always like kind of a hobby for me you know what i mean um my folks wasn't the type of folks that was like, you know, you can get rich off of music, right? They wanted me to go to school, be a doctor, you know what I mean? So I was actually in college um, studying biology and music. So I was a double major in biology and music in school. Um, I was working hella regular jobs. I worked at FedEx for like three years, right? Just throwing boxes and shit, right? Just to pay for school, right? And uh, I really got into the professional shit starting at church, but I didn't start it. I didn't grow up playing in church, right? Like. I, um, I was like 21, maybe, and I was playing the guitar center, right, and this dude um, that uh, one of my frat brothers, he, he played at this church that I wanted to play at, and he, he, he called me, he was like, bro, why don't you just come in and come sit in, right? So meanwhile, I'm just slaving, right, working this graveyard shift, turning around, working an early morning shift, right, working at FedEx, and uh, I played at church for like one Sunday and I looked at my check and I was like, bro, right, good job, right? I'm like, I'm not doing it. So um, ever since then, I was like, okay, maybe I can make a little bread doing music. Um, and then I really, really started studying, right? I started watching all the old DVDs, all the old Usher DVDs, you know, all the classic stuff that all, you know, musicians kind of like, you know, get under your belt, all the literature. And um, I was like, damn, they can really do, they, they get paid to do this? right like professionally it was like yeah the niggas make thousands of dollars they make doctor money i'm like okay well let me just focus on doing that so i was still in school i ended up dropping out of school like three times right because i kept on gigging right i just kept on doing like a bunch of little smooth jazz gigs here and there i was going doing a bunch of free stuff in the a and um i ended up graduating by the grace of god but i Ever since then, it was just like, ever since I got a taste of, like, I can do something I enjoy and get paid well for it, I was just like, this is what I'm doing. You know what I mean? So, yeah, ever since then, it's just been, you know, I've been hooked. It's like crack to me, baby. I got to do it. <laughs> what do the next 10 years look like for me? Um, that's interesting. I think for me, you know, number one, wherever God decided to take me, that's where I'm gonna go. Uh, I know what I would like to see. Uh, I'm an artist and a producer as well, so uh, I would love to transition into touring my own music, you know, um, and doing my own thing. I think no matter who I've worked for, um, I think at the end of the day, like while it's been a blessing, right, you pay your bills, you know what I mean? I think it's a lot more fulfilling to do things for yourself and things that are gonna really advance yourself and make make your heart happy and, and things that are more connected to your purpose right uh, for all the musicians out there like i would definitely say like it's cool to get on all the gigs bro. like get on all the gigs that you can right but like the things that you do for yourself and the things that you do that are connected to the purpose and and, and the will that god has for your life um is always gonna be more fulfilling, right? So ideally for me, next five, 10 years, you know, I wanna be doing my own thing um, and touring my own music. Um, unless I get on some, you know, some cool stuff, I would love to go on, a, uh, go on another tour with my brother JB again. Um, I love working with Party over here um, again, because he's, 
you're a really cool dude and it's, it's it's really cool to work with somebody that's a direct like influence on your own music so you know for me what what i'm focused on is really working with who i want to work with you know what i mean next 10 years is just i'm working with whoever i feel like working with um you know mentoring up a bunch of you know young guys helping them kind of get in the game and uh just living life man getting married have me a couple kids you know start me a little football team or something you know? <laughs> and uh yeah man i'm a i'm a chill guy uh i don't really need a lot you know it's just the things that i like i, I like intensely i don't like a lot of shit, but like the things that i do like you know I, I really really care about deeply so you know i don't need too much but just to be able to live life you know, on my own terms, or to be able to continue to live life on my own terms, and um, just have good people around me, long-lasting relationships. I think in the next 10 years, I want to have deeper relationships with the people that are around me now. So, yeah, that's why I'm Two guilty pleasures? Ooh. I can't say some of them on camera, brother. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Man, damn. Uh, I like a good rom-com every now and then, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, it's cool. Uh, and uh, let me see, what else is a guilty pleasure? Man? <laughs> and, uh gummy bears, bro. I'm, a, I'm addicted to them. Like, I'm talking about, like, bad. It's a, it's a drug, bro. Like, sweets, I'm like, I'm a fiend for the sweets, bro. You know, it's... I actually got like some star, what y'all got over here, star mix? I don't really eat that, but it's the closest thing to gummy bears that I'm going to get. So, yeah, I'm pretty hooked on them. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> the other ones is not safe for work, brother. <laughs> it's bad for business, brother. But, yeah. uh, find me on all socials at uh, Jules the Wolf. Um, all DSPs as Julian Michael. That's my artist stuff. Um, yeah, pretty much. I'm not hard to find. Shoot me a message. Whatever I read, everything. I reply to everything, or I try to reply to everything. So I ain't too hard to find. Just get at me. <laughs>